my phone is getting so hot, you guys. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to move my light. Because um, I want to do the SDs up here. Um, and I almost need my ladder way back in the back. The SD girl in the back. Um, that is, you can hardly see her. I wonder if I can zoom up on her there. She is a um, married all round thing head in strawberry resin. Right now she is on a Delph body and she will eventually be getting more than likely on a FIPO body. Um, but we'll see, we'll see what happens with that. Cause I do have a fecal body coming in pretty soon here and there will be some body switching, so we'll see. Uh, but here is another grouping of SD dolls. And um, they are this little grouping here, I guess they're kind of mixed in. Um, this guy on the end wearing the um, the cat ears earphones. <laughs> uh, he is a Lutz CP Delph Moon, and he's on Chi Wu's Type Two body. Um, uh, and I got him. I think. A, uh, well, he he was in 2017. I'm pretty sure. Um, next, next to him is my, oh, I hope this is like visible. Um, this is another doll that isn't new. Um, she is a, uh, a Lutz CP Delph Mew and she is on, I think she's on the type two old Delph body. Um, I think I only have one type one. All my other Delph girl bodies are type twos. Next, next to him is, uh, I often think of him as a Delph, but he is a uh, Feeple 60 boy. He's a Karsh, Feeple 60 boy Karsh, and he is, he's just a gorgeous doll. Um, poses wonderfully. I wish that they would bring them back um, because they're very nice dolls. Um, and next to him is a very special girl. This is my um, jury 05. Uh, she was the first jury um, and uh, I just recently put her back. She was on a Delph body and which I like. I like the aesthetic of but I just love the posability of the Feeple 60 Moe body. So she's back on a Feeple 60 Moe body. Um, she's so cute. I love that doll. Um, next to her is, a, he is new this year actually, um, uh, Doll Zone Robin, though his body, <laughs> he's on the Deer Doll, um, body. So he's, uh, he came on the 72.5 centimeter and I've put him on this shorter 62 centimeter body and actually really kind of like the hybrid quite a lot. Um, and then next to him is my 2006 jury. Um, it's another CP Delph, um, and she is on a Type One uh, Delph body, and uh, she's gorgeous. I love her too. She's a really pretty doll. My arms are getting tired, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna have to move this light. I'm like holding the camera above my head <laughs> to reach these dolls. Uh, okay, so here, uh, this big guy, he is on a mystic body. Uh, he is, um, he arrived just after the new year in 2018. He is a fifth motif guwa head and a uh, really good hybrid on the mystic body. Really, um, really like him a lot. He's definitely going to be getting a face up this year. Um, next to him is a new girl this year and why am I so zoomed in? I forgot I zoomed in. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Uh, another hybrid. Totally love this girl. I had seen uh, um, someone do this hybrid and had been in love with it ever since 
and um, actually tried to buy the doll from her when she sold it, but I, I missed her. Um, but she is, I'm blocking the light, aren't I? Yeah. She is a um, People 60 sign or Signe head um, on a doll chateau body. And uh, it's, what, it's a doll chateau female youth body. Um, she's got the jointed fingers, but not the jointed feet. Um, and I took out her extra joints. Um, but she is an amazing doll. I bought the head from, uh, this was another Ophelia dolls. I have a lot of dolls from Ophelia dolls this year, including this mystic body I actually got from her too. Um, and this beautiful uh, um, People 60 head that she did the face up on and just very, very gorgeous. All right, am I to the last? I think these might be the last two SD dolls. Um, these are Supia doll Fairyland hybrids. Um, they're, um, oh my gosh, um, Supia doll Mural and then Hyen. I can never pronounce her name properly. Um, but they're both on Feeple 60 Moe bodies awesome hybrids. I love these dolls. Um, got all the posability and the short stature. They're like 57 centimeters. I just love it. Okay, my arms. <laughs> uh, I cannot hold my arms up anymore. Um, so I might have to split this up and um, we'll tackle the rest of the dolls in one or two more videos. So thanks for watching guys and I will be back hopefully not too long <laughs> with the rest of these dolls um, and all those MSDs that are back there and tinies and all that kind of stuff. Okay, bye bye. I forgot a bunch of their names uh, to our forgot to tell you. So uh, Rumpadoll Abaddon is Victor. His little brother, uh, Morpheo, uh, his name is Stefan. Um, pretty sure that my Twiggling Oryx is going to be Kian, who is a, a, a very important character. Um, and I think that, I think she's going to be Kian. Um, and then up here to these guys, uh, my Delph Miu. Uh, that is Melody next to him, next to her, my Karsh, um, his name is Benjamin, my Jury 05, that's Amelia, um, my Jury 06, that is Delphina, uh, and did I forget any other names? Um, oh yes, uh, we're going to go all the way over here, blah, 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 blah. my Thunderbull Kai, that's Ma Dib. Um, and, uh, there's a lot of Dune, um, inspiration in a lot of my stories. Okay, bye. Okay, guys, we're going for gold. I'm going to try to do, uh, the rest of the dolls. Um, I'm going to try to just do the rest of the dolls. The first part was the SDs and the second part's going to be MSDs and everything else. <laughs> so, uh... But uh, here we go. We'll just we'll just make it easier on me and just everybody we go across. <laughs> um, so uh, these top two three stories of the house, um, uh, all dolls that I need to go over. Um, we'll start at this end. Let me put on this little ring light um, to kind of help out a little bit there. Uh, this little guy right here, he's new this year. He was a birthday present from my friend Miss Mantis. Uh, she dyed and painted him. He is a uh, patchwork mist. Oh no, <laughs> she just fell. I'm glad I put some underwear on her. Patchwork mist three-eyed bunny. Um, and I'm going to hold her up because I only have one hand. Uh, she's new this year. Yeah. Uh, she's a hybrid. 
Um, she is a doll in mind. Oh my gosh, I knew I was gonna forget. It's. I want to say Belinda, but I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right. She's uh, she's doll in mind sculpt though, and she is on um, the super cute new boy Yo SD body made by Dollzone that came out recently. It's adorable. I have two of them and made these two hybrids. Um, so uh, the bodies are both new this year. Um, I put my sleeping ombre. Lily Cat Ombre head on one of them. So they're these two guys here. And they're gonna fall backwards because I knocked them over. Shoot. <laughs> but I can't reach with just the one hand. Um, whoops, sorry guys. Uh, here is um, my Minifi Momo. And I think I got her head in 2017, but she was a floating head for a long time. Um, and didn't get a body until this year. Um, right now I have her on a Moe body and I managed to get a hold of the, I don't know, are these Rhea or Ren um, sheep parts, the, the ears and the hooves. So she's adorable. Um, next to her is uh, my Lucy Wynn, um, who was new this year. She, sorry guys for all the bouncing around. There's, I'm walking around blind looking straight up and that's the dogs take that opportunity to sit on my feet. <laughs> uh, Lucy Wynn on a, right now, uh, I, they did some body switching, but right now she is on a um, fairy line mini fee body. Uh, and in tan, both of these two girls are tan. Um, Toby is right in the way, right here. So I'm gonna move him. Thank you, Toby. Don't step on him. Um, I said I can hardly reach these girls. <laughs> so I'm holding my camera above my head. Um, this is this is Elowin, and um, oh, her little cute face is being covered up. This is Elowin. She is a uh, mini fee elf flam head and she is on a fairy line body with the bunny momo legs. And I would very much love to get these fantasy parts blush this year. She is um, one that I'd really like to get done. Next to her is a um, new head on an older body. Uh, it's a floating Lily Cat Constantine head from I think probably the first Constantine release because it's in like this white or cream resin, definitely yellow, so it really doesn't match anything. Uh, but uh, I right now I have her on a Lily Cat Lilas body and I, I just did that a few days ago and I feel like I have a new doll. Um, I guess the head is new for, for 2018 um, but I've had the body a couple of years uh, but I just love her. Constantine is still my all-time favorite Lily Cat doll. I love Lily Cat Constantine. Um, next to her um, Oh, did I skip my elf? I did. I skipped my elf Sion um, because she's kind of back here and I wish I could brush the hair out of her face, but I can't reach. Um, she's elf Sion and she is on an A-line mini fee body, one of the old ones, one of the pre-renewal ones, and uh, it's beautiful. I, I'm really liking uh, Fairyland bodies more and more. Um, but we'll come back down here. Uh, these two are uh, a couple of my oldest dolls and very special and uh, just love these two dolls. Um, my Lily Cat Constantine in gray resin with a, um, uh, with a Lily Cat face up and then um, Lily Cat Ombre. Uh, and she has a, actually has a face up by Cooler. Um, but these two dolls are Scarlet and Alandria in my MSD scale versions of them. And 
Next to here is my Lily Cat Neon in blue resin. I would very much like to uh, enhance her blue resin and get her a new face up this year. Um, so she's an older doll, but I would love to do some work on her this year. Um, this is a hybrid. Uh, my um, Sleet Wealth Vanessa head right now, she is on a Soul Doll body and I actually <laughs> could not find her body. Oh, I turned it off. I could not find uh, Anja's body. Uh, Sleep, Wealth, Sleep Wealth Vanessa. Um, I had her on Lily Cat body for a couple of years and I thought I knew where her original body was, but I haven't been able to find it. Um, and no, I didn't sell it. I've sold, uh, I could count them all on one hand, the number of dolls that I've sold and it definitely wasn't one. Um, Okay, I need to move things out of my way. This is a new 2018 girl. She is a doll chateau, um, just went out of my brain. It's Z Xaveria, I think, I think is how you say it. She's the spider, she's the sheep spider. <laughs> she's adorable um, and she's another one of these dolls that I didn't get to do a dedicated video for and I really want to do that in 2019, um, but she's amazing. Uh, I was so sad that I'd missed out on these dolls. So happy to find one on the secondhand market. Okay, oh, my hands are like really, this is why I need one of those selfie sticks. Like this would have been ideal today. Um, okay, these two rooms, um, let's start over here. Um, my Menongenus, my Twiggly Menongenus. Uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six of them. And one that's still with Miss Mantis getting customized. Uh, love, love any Twiggly doll, of course, uh, but these Menongenu girls are so special. Um, the I'll start with the first one here just to um this was my first girl i covered up the speaker no my first twiggly menongenu um and she is uh, my msd scale herla and gorgeous doll um my second one that came in wow all of these all of these menongenus have come in this year i was on a quest this year um, and uh, after a year of trying to get one and being unsuccessful, <laughs> uh, I, I was, got all the ones, <laughs> I got all of them and then some. Um, but this was the second one who came, um, and arrived early, earlier in 2018. Um, she's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Her face up, um. Uh, the Ugly Wife, I think is her name, a European face-up artist. She's in pink resin. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Love her. Um, then uh, my third one is this beautiful girl. She is a, um, um, she's a dyed menongenu. I think she's originally in pink skin. Um, but she was, I got her from Danielle Vita Plastica. Um, who dyed her and she's gorgeous like the dye it, it it's so real I love it it's gorgeous 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 um let's see who came after that um trying to remember I think I think the mint girl came and uh, she is in mint resin um, and Depending on the lighting, it shows up better than others. Um, um, Tiffy BJ Crafts sold her to me. Yeah. And then this beautiful girl. And I never, ever thought I would have this girl. This is a black resin Minangenu and definitely grail status girl. Um, she belonged to my friend Miss Mantis and she got her at... Um, the 2016 L-Doll and she decided to sell her this year and of course I had to buy her 
she's magnificent gorgeous doll and then my most recent is uh, she's considered violet white resin um, and uh, it's very subtle but it's, it is really beautiful um, the face up is okay but it's not really my style and so she will be getting a new face up um, and I really want to work on all of these girls I want to work on some body blushing um, I don't know if I will actually do any sort of painting on this girl at all I don't know um, it's so difficult to work with the black resin and I just enjoy her the way she is but these girls um, I want to do some blushing to emphasize their color um, and get some nice face ups so those are my menonginous and then I have a peacock blue uh, girl who is still with Miss Mantis and is going to uh, be getting customized so she will probably be here at some point in 2019 uh, let's go through the rest of the girls in this room um, the rest of the dolls let's see um, I can't remember this was my first Mary doll round pygmy and I can't remember if she arrived this year or if she arrived in 2018 or 2017. I can't remember. Maybe early 2018. So maybe she is a new girl this year. She's a Mary doll round dango in cookie skin. And she has a face up by Nuria the artist. And it's gorgeous. Um, my second pygmy that definitely arrived this year is my um, moose. She's a Mary Doll Round Moose and she's in chocolate milk resin. Love her. Ugh. I definitely could have another moose, um, especially if she releases one in a fantasy skin. Really, really love her. Um, this is a little porcelain cat. Had her for several years and I cannot remember. She's a Russian artist. She's been in, it's been in my videos though. Um, Sakura Bunny, which all these years is still never been blushed. <laughs> uh, and um, then um, my centaurs, my Lily Cat centaur hybrids, um, Chibi Moon centaur hybrids. Uh, another girl over here. Um, this was my first Lily Cat Chibi Moon. She arrived this year. She's in caramel skin. Um, with a face up by the artist. Oh, they all have face ups by the artist. Um, and they all got real fee centaur bodies um, and the most adorable, cutest hybrid. All about it. Love it so much. Um, this is the it's lilac purple or I forget the the resin color because there's a darker purple this is the slightly lighter purple um, gorgeous she's on a special edition um, real fee body real fee center body with the crystal wings and the transparent hooves and transparent tail yep um oh uh don't have names yet for the Menange New Girls, but this is Acorn and this is Hazel. And then over here is uh, my mint resin Chibi Moon. I think she calls it Almonde, you know, some sort of French pronunciation. <laughs> um, and uh, she's on a white centaur body. Beautiful hybrids, adorable hybrids. There's, come back, there we go. There's Rosebud, Doll Zone Big Dipper. Amazing paint uh, and blushing by Miss Mantis. Uh, painted her several years ago for me. Amazing, gorgeous doll. A um, few more pet dolls. These are new this year. And uh, Eiffel House uh, Bull Terrier. I I would love to get the Boston Terrier too, but I actually really love the Bull Terrier. Um, 
it is just has so much personality very very cute um, and then this is um, Foxy or Loxy <laughs> I can't I can never remember which one it is um, but it's by a new ball jointed doll company called Dream Valley um, and I think I first started hearing about them I think maybe in late 2017 early 2018 um, but the sculptor used to work for doll zone doll chateau so very similar aesthetic um, so foxy or loxy I can't remember which with company blushing super freaking adorable um, here we are back with uh, Herla and her daughter Neela so these are the smaller scale of my characters. Um, Neela is a Mishi's doll, Dreamy. Um, and then uh, Neela's father and Herla's husband, this is Gahern. He is an Agati Alfar. Um, are there some dolls down here? Yeah, my little doll zone, Wendy. That uh, Miss Mantis painted for me a few years ago. Very adorable. This was actually this guy was new. Uh, he is one of those printed dragons, which I cannot remember the name. Um, but you can you can buy them online for not very much. But finally, Sir Nino's got his his dragon. <laughs> uh, is there anybody else uh, over here with the big guys? Yeah, there is this little. Um, oh, I forget. It's one of those 3D printing companies that makes these little pets. And this was a... It was supposed to be a... A rat terrier. But I tried to make it kind of into a Italian Greyhound. They, get, they put a longer tail on it. <laughs> um, okay. Sorry for making you guys dizzy. Uh... Let's come over here. This was a new doll this year. Um, he is, uh, he was actually a free gift from Doll She. Um, and he arrived several months ago. The order that he was part of the free gift from has not arrived yet. <laughs> I've been waiting 13 months now for that order. But the free gift arrived. <laughs> he is a, a doll she fashion size con. Um, and he is pretty cool. He's pretty neat. Um, this is an older doll, uh, a doll Pam a Ruby. Um, and she is a smaller version of Kian, of Karen. Sorry if these are blurry, guys. Um, and then I put the sleeping head doll Pam Ruby on this doll zone body that came with my doll zone Cindy. And I put doll zone Cindy head on a Impel doll um, YoSD body. And then I put uh, the doll Pam Ruby head on this body. Cute little hybrids. Um, there's some Blythe girls hiding there. And this was a new pet doll this year. Um, when watching this artist for a couple of years, she worked on several different versions of a French Bulldog ball jointed doll. And so when she released that this year, I wasn't going to miss out. I've got another faceplate for her too. It's by Russian artist Leila Debruvino, something like that. She doesn't have like a cute little doll name shop it's just her her name um, but she uh, is a wonderful artist she's got several other ball jointed dolls and is always working on new stuff um, Lily Cat Colleen uh, love this little doll one of the best posing Lily Cat dolls actually she's very tiny um, let's see here's my finger <laughs> she's very cute uh, and then uh, Mishi's doll Hope that's Neela's sister, Elowen. Um, let's not forget this beautiful girl up here. Let me change the camera. 
sorry guys for all of the bouncing around. So this is um, a hybrid of my Lily Cat uh, Kitty Jolie and I have hybrided her onto this Fairyland um, Circa Centaur body with the wings and I think she's a gorgeous hybrid. I love love the Fairyland Centaurs. I got a few of them this year. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make everybody dizzy again. We're going to turn around. Um, I don't want to forget any little dolls that are down here because there was a few. Um, so, Neela, I mentioned her in the last part, but uh, she's a Jury 11, Mini Fee Jury 11 sculpt, and I've put her on the Lucy Wynn Centaur body. Uh, and she's got her little dragon bulldogs here, Toby and Lola namesakes, made by Clover Dolls. This is Clover Dolls um, Dragon and uh, Clover Dolls Little Dragon, I think. So Toby and Lola. And I think that I am going to go ahead and get the step stool so that my don't hurt my arm so much. So I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully I don't fall off of the ladder. Um, so these are the rest of the dolls that we have to go over. Um, these two starting here. Um, these are older dolls. Uh, this is my um, freak style. Oh my God. I'm getting really tired guys. And it went out of my brain and all of us barking. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot her name. I forgot. Uh, if I remember, I'll come back. Uh, this is a hybrid. Um, this girl is a doll in mind Lorena, and she is on a doll zone girl body. One of the older ones. And this is not a new doll. I guess her body is. Uh, she is a Lily Cat Lilas. And I have put her on a doll Pam Loli body. It's freaking adorable. Next to her is um, a uh, Noah, and I can't remember if she's a Lucis or or what. Um, but uh, she was uh, she used to belong to Denali Wind, um, and she's got the bully plate. She's a she's an older doll that I've had for a while now. Try not to fall off the ladder. Um, I am going to show this body <laughs> because it's a beautiful body and I was hoping that I would have a head for it by now. Um, I waited four or five months. Um, I had ordered and paid for a doll chateau a Barbara head in gray resin and uh, Denver doll was like, oh, never mind. Actually, they won't let you just buy the head. So. This body is still here, and I'm going to do something at some point, but it's a um, MSD. It's in between size, in between MSD and SD, and it's beautiful. Uh, some more Fairyland um, Doll Chateau hybrids, and these are two Circa heads, uh, Fairyland Mini Fee Circa. Uh, in tan and normal skin, and they're on Doll Chateau kid bodies, the girl ones, um, in their tan resin and in pink. Um, and they're new. These two are new this year. And this Doll Chateau body is new to me this year too. I actually bought it secondhand from Miss Manis, my friend in the Netherlands. Uh, this girl. Did she arrive this year or last year? 2017 or 2018, I cannot remember. It was very close. Um, but it's my Seed Dolls wall head and her, uh, she's on a Doll Chateau K11 body. 
um, older girl here, doll in mind, uh, Annabeth head, and she is on a doll chateau kid body. Uh, it's actually the male body. Um, this is my Sum Shale, and uh, he was on the on the centaur body, and I've actually kind of made him into a hybrid <laughs> um, to be humanoid, I guess. Um, here is uh, another Seed Dolls wall. He's a Peabody, and he is on a Doll Chateau body that needs to be blushed because it is white skin. But I decided I didn't like him on the gray resin. Whew, almost there, guys. Almost there. <laughs> this is my um, uh, Soul Doll Ahiel Centaur version. She is on the NL Kid Body. And is that really out of focus? I'm so sorry if it is. Next to her is actually my very first ball jointed doll. Um, she is a Lutz Kid Lyo on a girl Kid Delph body. Um, and my two mini fee boys, well, actually, this is a With Doll Taran head on a mini fee boy muscular body. Um, and then uh, mini fee Mer on the muscular body. And it's a hybrid girl, doll in mind, Lorena closed eye version on another um, doll zone girl body. This is a new head, actually. This is a doll zone, doll zone row um, on a old doll zone boy body that is the wrong skin color. <laughs> uh, this is an Anoa. And she is on a doll leaves body. And I can't remember. Maybe she came this year, maybe last year. Uh, doll zone. Zo, tan resin. Doll in mind, Marley, on an old doll zone body. Nanoa boy. I cannot remember if he's L or B. I cannot remember. Um. Another row. I got two rows this year. Two doll zone rows. <laughs> two doll zone row heads. Um, I already had the doll zone boy bodies. But I think that's everybody, guys. I'm gonna fall off the ladder. <laughs> I think that's everybody. So I am going to call it quits here. Um, and I'll come back with the rest of the questions in a bit. Three more than I forgot. These guys over here. So, on the end here is a resin sole dog. Uh, and he's actually wearing some jeans under there. <laughs> um, uh, next to him uh, was a, two new dolls that came in. This These were two dolls that came in the, this year. Uh, this was... Um, Doll Zone Lulu in purple resin. She was an event gift that came with my Doll Zone Robin. Uh, yes, so that was at the beginning of the year. And then this little cutie is a Tiffy BJD Crafts uh, Herald. I, I, I don't know if it's Tiffy BJD, BJD Crafts or or if she's calling herself casting. Um, but uh, yes, she sculpted this doll and casted it, and it's in this gorgeous teal resin with a purple shell. Um, super adorable. Okay, that's really it. Bye-bye.